Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nikira Techies. This is our Angular 16 NGRX tutorial. So in this video, we can talk about how to create the global op state in order to combine multiple reducers. Okay. For explaining this functionality, I am going to have one more new screen that is blog. Okay. So there we can load the existing blog information. So since in my last video, I have completed this uh, counter application. So for the counter application, we have created the separate state, model, and reduces actions. So similarly, I am going to create for this blog also. Okay. But in our NGRX point of view, we have the single store. So there the data will be stored in this JSON format. Okay. So even if I am creating the separate state for both the models, so finally both are get combined in this single store only. Okay. So anyway, let's start my implementation. Once it is done, you will get some better idea. So this is my created application. Okay, before starting the implementation, let me share one more information. Okay, this is my final output. So if you are following my last video, you are able to see this only counter application. So now additionally, I have included this menu. Okay, so whatever counter example we have seen that actually I have moved in this counter link. And if you are clicking this block, there is nothing. I just created one common and there is no implementation. So then if I'm clicking this home also, I just added the text. There is no more implementation. Okay. So this menu I have created for the separate video, but that video actually not relevant to our NGR series. That's why I'm not added in our playlist. So if you really want to watch that video, I will share that video link also in our description. You have to watch it. Basically that will explain how to handle the deprecated can activate interface in our Angular 16 application. Okay. So anyway, let's start our implementation. So in this coding point of view, so in this shared folder, we have the store inside the store. We have created this actions model reduces selectors and state for our counter application. So similarly, we can create for our block screen also. Okay. First, let me create one folder. So instead that we have to create our files one by one. So the first file is block dot state. And the next one is action. And the third one is model. And the fourth one is reducer. And the final one is selectors. Okay, first we can start from the state. So let me copy it from our counter state. I'm just added here. So let me change the name. Instead of the initial state, let me provide block state. Okay. So basically this holding the list of block information and also we cannot use this counter model. So let me complete my block model also export interface block model. So here I am going to have three properties. The first one is ID. So the data type is number and the next one is title, the data type is string, and the final one is description. Okay, our model is ready. So let me go back to our state. So here we can use our blog model. Okay. As I mentioned, I am going to have the list of information. So let me mark this into array. So here I am going to provide the initial state value. So this is the array and inside that we have the object and title let me provide angular. So in this description point of view, I'm just providing the basic information. Angular is an open source. It's powered by Google. Okay. So similarly, we can include uh, two more objects. So in this ID two, three, dot net so let me save this one so now our initial state is ready so next let me move on the action side okay so in this action point of view i am going to create only one action load block okay using this create action option so since our data available in this store using selectors also uh, we can retrieve the data so anyway, for the example purpose, I'm just including this action. Next, let me move on the reducer side. Okay. 
so we can copy the code from our counter side I mean the count reducer so up to this function okay so here we have only one action so let me remove all the other actions okay first let me change this naming block reducer and we have to import this create reducer so this is belongs to our ngrx store and here I'm going to use the block state that is our initial state value and instead of the increment we have to use the load block okay and this on also belongs to this ngrx store only and this counter is not needed because here we are not modifying anything whatever value is coming we are just returning it here okay so here also let me change this into block reducer and we can call it here okay now we completed our uh, reducer also let me include this reducer in our store so in our app dot model so already we have included this counter right so here I am going to add one more object that is the block at the values of our block reducer okay so let me save this one so the coding part we have done so currently I am in our counter application I am just inspecting if you are checking in our reducer side let me choose this inspector so if I am checking this state we can see so this is the single JSON object only so here we have this counter section so after that our blog also included okay so both areas we have our initial state value only okay so now if I am trying to change this one so this increment action is happened so only this counter value is modified so our blog value is as it is it's not changed okay so next what I'm going to do let me create one separate selector for this block so using that selector we can fetch the list of block information that I'm going to display in our blog screen okay so let me go to my application and already we have created this file okay and for the reference we can check our counter selector so let me copy the first two items so let me change this into block state and we have to import this create feature selector so instead of this uh, counter model we can use our blog model and basically it will return the array and this also need to be changed into block so instead of the get counter get block and we have to import our create selector also and from our block state so here it's not having this counter so it's having the list of data only we not included other properties so we can return the complete state information okay next let me move on the component side I just created this uh, block component so in this TS side I'm going to implement this ng on in hook and also let me include the constructor because we have to inject our store here private store so the store is belongs to our ngrx store only and here we can use like blog and blog model okay so let me save this one and here let me declare one variable also so this dot store select so here we have to call our selector get blog okay so let me subscribe this one so this dot uh, blog list equal to we are assigning this data that's it let me save this one and finally we can include this blog list into our 
console. So let me go back to our block screen. So if I'm checking this console, I am able to get these three records. Okay. So let me bind in our HTML side. First, I'm going to include one H1 tag technology blocks. Here we can have this mat card and then mat card header. So next to mat card content. Here I'm having one paragraph tag. So in this header side, I am just including one H1 tag. Okay. So already I'm having data in our blog list. So using ng4, let me generate the loop. Let item. So here I'm going to just to bind the title and the description. That's it. So let me save this one. See the output. So the data are get binded. So let me include some design here. See the response now. So we have the three sections and we just binded the data. Whatever data I'm having just to bind it. So if I'm having the length of description, so it's somewhat good. Okay. Okay. Now we have completed the functionality of this black screen, but still we can apply some of the optimization. So the first thing is uh, combining reduces. Okay. So if you are checking here in this store model, I'm just created one object and there I have included one reducer. So similarly, we can include a number of reducers. The functionality point of it's fine, but the application point of view, it is very difficult to manage and also it's not fair. For the optimization purpose, what we can do. So let me create one more new file. So inside the store, I'm going to create one more new folder. So let me provide the name is global. Okay. And here I am going to create one new file. So let me provide the name is app.state. Okay. So this is an object. Here I am going to have this counter. So in this counter, I am going to add this counter reducer. So similarly, for the blog, I am adding this blog reducer. So the idea is very simple. So whatever code already I have included in our app dot model. So this section, okay. I'm just moving this into our app dot shape. So instead of that, we can use this app state here. So in our app dot model. Okay. Okay. It's done and there is no error. Our application also working fine. Okay. So here after if you are including any new reducer also, we no need to check in our app dot model. So instead of that in our app dot state file, we have to include all the reducers one by one. Okay. And the next thing is, so this model point of view, we have this counter model. Similarly for the block screen, we have this block model. Okay. So let's combine and we can create one common model. So inside our global folder. So let me create one more file app state dot model. Export interface app state model. So it's having two properties. One is counter for the counter. We can use this counter model. It's having the object of data and the next one is blog. It is having the list of data. So we can use this blog model and this is the array. So let me save this one. So next let me move on the component side. So here after we can use that class only app state model. Okay. 
the same change i can apply for our counter display model also upstate model so we can save this one and finally we can see our response also so currently i'm in the, our black screen the data are loaded so similarly if i'm going to the, our counter screen it's working fine see our increment function is working and this custom increment working custom remove also working so our rename functionality also working fine okay so now we combined our reduces and also applied some code refactoring so in my next video onwards we can call our api and we can start our implementation okay so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching